Hey, what's up you guys and check out this paint. This thing is absolutely covered in scratches, swirls, oxidation, and much more. Today we have two brand new products for you guys that are gonna help you quickly and easily take care of that problem on your vehicle. So if you guys wanna learn what they are and how to use them, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it on this very neglected paintwork on this Veloster. All right guys, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you guys can see right here, right in front of me, I have both products. You'll see that the first one is our C4 Clear Cut Correction Compound, and then we also have our P4 Precision Paint Perfection Polish. So I'm gonna break these down one by one just so that we don't kind of get lost in, you know, what these two products are and show you guys the differences between the two. So the first product is C4. Now C4 is a professional grade compound that we've developed with fast acting advanced abrasives that act fast and cut true all the way. So with this product right here, we've developed this compound to cut in a consistent way. So whenever you first start to the point where you end, you know, working your product, it's gonna have a consistent cut so that you have an even paint correction all around your vehicle. So with the product like C4, you can utilize it for heavier scratches and imperfections on your vehicle so that you knock them out in one easy step. So that's one of the great things about C4 is that you can use it as a one-step solution or you can actually use it in conjunction with P4, which I'll break down soon. But C4, like I mentioned, it's a great one step to removing heavy and moderate imperfections in your paint. We've also developed it with a zero dusting formula. So that's right. I know you guys, you know, hate when you're polishing, you're getting, you know, compound dust all over the place. Well, not to worry. With C4 and P4, you don't have to worry about that. And one of the most awesome things about C4 is that it works very fast. So you don't have to be there all day trying to break down the product. It's actually formulated with our advanced abrasives, which I mentioned before, which cuts very fast, very quick to give you the fastest and easiest paint correction you've ever had. And for you guys out there that utilize the wet sanding method for paint correction, you can actually use C4 to remove 1200 grit sanding marks and above. And it also contains no oils or micro swell fillers. You can use C4 with your favorite dual action polisher, rotary polisher, or you can even use it by hand and achieve incredible results. And now moving on to P4. Now P4 is our precision paint perfection polish. Now what that means is that it's gonna be a nice jeweling polish. However, you can still use it for light cutting measures. So whether you have light to moderate imperfections in your paint, such as you know light swirls, light scratches, maybe have some light water spots here and there and that light little layer of oxidation, you can use P4 in, as a maintenance to your paint to kind of give it a nice little shine, give it a boost of clarity every now and then because remember, it doesn't have a heavy cut. So you can use a product like P4 often and achieve incredible results. P4 utilizes our latest and ultra fine abrasives that break down very quickly and same like C4, it has a consistent cut technology. So that means that it's gonna cut and maintain the same level of perfection that you're getting all around your vehicle. So with these products, you can use them with a variety of pads and they'll pretty much reflect the type of cut that you're gonna receive. So C4 is a cutting compound. So with this product, you wanna utilize it with a cutting pad. My personal favorite combo is C4 with an Orange Hex Logic cutting pad. And I feel that that combination between pad and product does an amazing job at not only eliminating light to medium imperfections, but heavy ones as well. And if your paint is really, really, you know, neglected, then you can also step it down with a yellow Hex Logic cutting pad and achieve an even heavier cut. And with P4, if you wanna achieve more of a light moderate cut, then you can use it with a green heavy polishing pad or if you wanna just kinda of give your paint a little touch up, maybe it's been like you know a couple months since you last worked on it, and you wanna give it a nice little polish and give it a nice little shine, then you can utilize it with a white hex logic polishing pad and give it a nice deep shine in a matter of minutes. And one of the great things that I especially love about this combination of products is that you can actually use them on professional grade ceramic coatings. C4 is good for ceramics only when you wanna fix a scratch in it with the possibility of needing to reapply. However, with P4, you can safely use it on most ceramic coatings to polish out imperfections in the coating. We recommend that you always check with your ceramic coating manufacturer for care instructions. So like I was saying about the C4, you can use C4 as a standalone product and you can also use P4 as a standalone product to just give your ride a nice little shine. These products also work out great in combination with each other. So just as great as how they work with by themselves, if you use them together, 
even better. So depending on the level of paint that you're working on, if you have heavily neglected paint, I'm talking like years of scratches, swirls, the paint has never been touched, you know, polished, waxed or anything like that, then you can use a product like C4 first with a cutting pad and then follow it up with P4 to achieve the perfect clarity finish. So depending on, like I mentioned, the, the level of neglect that you're working with, you can either use these products by themselves as a one step, or if you really want the true highest clarity, use them together and achieve the ultimate results. All right guys, so that pretty much breaks them both down. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to use them. All right guys, we're all set up right here. And now before we begin, let's inspect the paint to see how neglected it is and see what we really need to do. So first things first, I'm gonna grab my ultra bright LED inspection light, point it at the paint, and I'm gonna inspect the paint and see what kind of work is gonna be needed. And right off the bat, I see tons of scratches, tons of swirl marks. You have a lot of little like, you know, nicks and nacks here and there. It looks pretty bad. So I'm pretty positive that we're gonna have to go with the C4 clear cut correction compound first in order to remove these heavier imperfections. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off a little 50-50 section so that we can see what the before and after of what using C4 will do for our paint. So I'm just gonna grab some masking tape here, mask it halfway through. I'm gonna try to do my best here because we have these body lines right here. So just gonna do one tape there and I'm also gonna double tape it just so that I don't get any product. I'm gonna be using the 15DA, which has a 15 millimeter throw. And as you guys know, has a pretty wide throw. So I just wanna make sure that I don't get that throw on the opposite side that I'm gonna be working on here. So I'm gonna put this tape down and I think we're good to go. All right guys, so just to kind of reiterate, just before we begin, we have already washed the vehicle. We washed it using the Clean Slate Soap, which uh, as you guys know, Clean Slate is a surface cleanser. So it breaks down any kind of waxes, sealants, or any kind of glazes that are on the paint so that we can see the paint for what it is. So that's the way that we were able to see the true state of what the paint looks like because we washed it with that Clean Slate. And we also followed it up with the clay bar treatment just to make sure that we remove any kind of embedded contaminants because we don't want those contaminants getting on our pad and messing up our work. So make sure to wash your vehicle and clay bar the paint and take any necessary steps you need before you polish your vehicle so now that we're ready to go the first thing i'm going to grab here is well actually i'll wipe it down for you guys so right here i have wipeout and if you guys don't know what this is wipeout is also a surface cleanser so this right here removes any kind of fillers body oils residual compound and polishes but i'm going to use it prior to show you guys that there's nothing on here and just to kind of make sure that you know in between the time that i was masking this off and we were pulling the car in we didn't get any dust that landed on the surface so just to make sure that there's nothing absolutely at all on the surface i'm just going to wipe it down really quickly flip it around it's very easy to use i have to do is spray it directly or on your towel wipe it down and you're all good to go so now that th that's all ready i'm going to set my towel to the side so now I'm gonna grab my C4 clear cut correction compound and open it up. Now, when you're applying product to your pad, you wanna make sure to apply as much uh, drops as necessary. So in this case, I have a five inch pad, which means I'm gonna apply five pea size drops. So I'm gonna grab my product here. I'm gonna apply five little drops here, nice and evenly distributed around the pad. And then I'm gonna set this down real quick. And then I'm gonna spray some pad conditioner on my pad. Now you wanna make sure to use pad conditioner whenever you're cutting because you wanna make sure that your pad stays moisturized, saturated, and conditioned so that it doesn't build up any excess heat which can lead to burning your paint. So pad conditioner is a huge, huge, huge must have in your arsenal whenever you're polishing to have the smoothest polishing experience possible. So to use this, all you have to do, spray directly onto your pad. In this case, I'm gonna spray one and I'm good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my machine here and I'm gonna blot out the product in a little section here. So I'm gonna blot it out on the area that I'm gonna be working in. And then just keep in mind that I do have a little bit of a curved area right here. So um, I'm only gonna be careful with this curved area and I also have a sharp uh, edge right here. So whenever you're polishing, make sure that you're aware of the area that you're polishing. So once you have it all blotted out, you wanna turn on to speed setting one and then spread out your product. All 
All right, so now that your product is nice and evenly spread out, you can turn it on to the high speed setting and you'll see that with C4, it actually cuts very fast and it cuts great from A to Z. So I'm gonna work out this product right here until it becomes clear and you guys will see how fast it is. I'll probably do it in like two little passes and you'll see right now when I first start working it in. But I'm gonna work it in on the high speed setting, do that and then I'll be back with you guys to show you guys the results. All right guys, and now that I'm done working the product, I'm gonna move my stuff to the side here, grab another workhorse towel and simply buff it off. And guys, check it out, just like that, it wipes off like no problem. And as you guys can see, this thing knocked out a ton of the scratches and swirls that were on the paint. This thing looks so much better without me even having to like take off the tape for you guys. I don't know if you guys are able to see on camera just how much more darker it looks, how more better it looks. And I mean, check out that overall depth. Now, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna partially take off the tape just to show you guys the 50-50 of what C4 alone with a cutting pad can deliver for your ride. So I'm gonna grab my tape here. I just peeled this down a bit. I'm gonna peel it down right here. And check this out, you guys. From heavily swirled, heavily scratched, you can actually see that the paint is actually oxidized as well. And those scratches and swirls take away from the overall depth and shine of your vehicle. You know, this is the condition of how it looked like before. And check this out. After. As you guys can see, looks so much better, looks much more, you know, darker, has more depth. The sparkle, you actually see the metallic sparkle in the paint, which I think looks very amazing. And honestly, I'm super satisfied with the results that we got from just, you know, just using C4 clear cut correction compound as a one step solution to these scratches and swirls that are on this paint. Huge difference, as you guys see right there, I'll actually open it up on the wide spray, um, wide light as well, and show you guys the before and after. All right, guys, so you guys saw the results. I'm super happy with it. I know you guys are probably freaking out with the results. I mean, just check it out. The overall, you know, transformation of what this paint looked like versus what we transformed it into. But I'm feeling a little bit like we can get this to look better. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can use C4 as a standalone product, which as you guys so clearly saw, but I'm feeling greedy. I wanna get this thing looking much better. So I'm gonna follow it up with P4 Precision Paint Perfection Polish. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off my orange pad here. Oops. I'm gonna take off my orange pad and I'm gonna grab myself a white Hex Logic polishing pad. Now I'm gonna grab my pad right here and I'm gonna center it as best as I can. You know, you guys remember, whenever you're applying your pads onto your machine, you wanna make sure it's as central as possible so that you have a nice even cut around your vehicle. So now that that's all on there, now we can get, now we can get our P4 Precision Paint Perfection Polish. Make sure that there's no cap in there. No cap, we're good to go. And now we can apply same thing about five pea size drops. So in this case, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. I was trying to balance it out between the, between the two spots. All right, so now that that's all set, gonna grab this, same process. I'm gonna blot this out onto the area, spread it on speed setting one, working on the highest speed setting, and then I'll be back with you guys to show you guys the final results and show you guys how amazing the paint will look. All right guys, so now that I'm done working the P4, now I'm gonna grab another workhorse towel. I got a little mess right here, but it's all good. Grab myself another workhorse towel, fold it up nicely, and then buff off the excess. And check this out, you guys. 
It actually looks much better now after following it up with the P4 polish. Because remember, P4 is a jeweling polish. So whenever you conduct the cut, like with any compound, um, you know, you want to make sure to follow it up with the finer polish just to kind of take care of any kind of micro mooring, micro swirls, you know, the finer scratches and swirls or any kind of micro imperfections that the heavier compounds can't get rid of. So check it out. And then before I take off the tape one last time, um, I did mention before that these products do not have any fillers. So I'm gonna wipe it down once again with our wipeout to show you guys that, you know, there's no fillers in this that are giving it the appearance of making it look better. But this is the actual results that we got. So I'm gonna spray wipe out directly onto the surface. And then I'm gonna wipe down the paint very easily, very quickly. And you can also use wipeout, like I mentioned, just to kind of remove any kind of compound. So if you're ever working with a product that, you know, it's a little bit tough to take off or anything like that, wipeout is a perfect product to help you remove those things quickly, easily, and with, so that you can see the true results of your paint. So check this out, you guys. I'm gonna take off the tape now. So I'm gonna grab the tape here, put it all, pull it all off, and you guys can see those final results and check it out that thing looks amazing it looks much better you know this car it's an older car and honestly if i can transform this paint into this from that that's you know i'm, I'm happy any time of the day so i'm going to grab my light one more time show you guys those results check it out it looks amazing looks much better you have a higher clarity finish and check this out it looks ugly it's scratched it's swirled it's dull and you know this is definitely something that you don't want going on in your paint. So if your paint looks like this, make sure to pick this up on our website right now because you guys need it. So check it out, looks great, looks amazing. And I mean, you know, the owner of the car is definitely gonna be super excited when he sees his car is now looking like this from what it looked like before. And as you guys can also see around it, if you guys come over here, and this little section over here where I kind of didn't mask it off, but you can see like I hit it, you'll see that big difference in like the scratches and swirls, the clarity of it. I mean, check that thing out, guys. You know, I'm not over exaggerating. This is actually like really cool to see in person to tell you the truth. Looks really great. And honestly, I'm super excited with this, with this product. You know, it looks great. All right, guys, and there you guys have it. You guys saw just the results from C4 alone did amazing. However, if you wanna get that ultimate clarity finish, I highly recommend following it up with that P4. So you guys saw the combination between the two. You guys saw you know, how C4 worked alone. I'm also gonna do another section of the vehicle that isn't so bad, just because I wanna show you guys how P4 alone performs by itself. Because remember, P4 is a finer polish. So if you do have damage like this on your paint, Better off going with C4. If you have something finer than this, then P4, you know, you can use that as a one-step solution as well. So I'll make sure to cover another area and show you guys how P4 works by itself. But I mean, all in all, check out the results, guys. What do you guys think? I want you guys to leave your rating down right now in the comment section down below from one to 10 or one to 100, whatever rating that you want. Just let us know how amazing it looks. All right, guys, so you guys saw the C4 and P4 combination, but now I'm gonna show you guys just the P4 on its own. So I'm gonna grab another piece of masking tape and I'm gonna do the fender right here, just because I feel like the fender here, it doesn't really have too much of like heavy scratching. It, it does have like light scratches and swirls, but I feel like these aren't so bad as the ones that we were doing on the quarter panel. So that's why we're gonna be using the P4 Precision Paint Perfection Polish. Now I'm gonna be using it with the same combination of the same pad, the same white pad that I'm gonna be using, the Torque 15DA, and I'm only gonna apply about three piece size drops just cause we're working on a smaller area here. So I'm gonna set those onto my pad here. And then I'm gonna blot it out on the section that I'm gonna be working on. So now that you're done blotting it out onto the surface, same process, turn it on to speed setting one, spread it out, it's a smaller area so we don't have to spread it out too much, and then working on the highest speed and then I'll be back with you guys to show you guys the results. All right guys, so now that I'm done working the product, I'm gonna grab myself my green workhorse towel here and simply buff off the excess and show you guys the final results. 
So now that I'm wiping off the product, one thing I did forget to mention is I did not mask off the headlight because you can actually use P4 and C4 on clear glossy plastic. So such as B pillars, your headlights as well. You know, you can use them to just give them a little touch up, you know, P4, you know, you can give your headlights a quick little touch up here and there and give it a nice little shine as well. And just like that, I'm done wiping off the product. I'm gonna grab my tape here, take it off and show you guys these results and check it out you guys much more depth much more clarity and you can actually see right now when i flash my light on it scratches are gone looks amazing looks really great check it out how it looked before now these scratches i would say that they are not as bad as the ones on the actual quarter panel these look bad however they're pretty fine just because of like the way that they're kind of like the way they look on the surface they don't look like they're too deep in there which i thought would be easy enough to kind of remove it with the p4 and the white polishing pad uh, combination so as you guys saw, you can use both products and achieve great results by, you know, using them alone by themselves or like I said, combine them together and get the best of both worlds. So that's pretty much it as far as like this process. As you guys saw, it's not a huge, crazy process. It all just pretty much matters on the prep. Make sure you wash your car, clay it and get it ready. And then, you know, this part of the process of actually paint correction is very easy. And as you guys saw, the results look amazing and speak for themselves. All right, guys, and there you guys have it. As you guys saw, we achieved some pretty amazing results on the Veloster using our two brand new products, C4 Clear Cut Correction Compound and P4 Precision Paint Perfection Polish. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a like, comment down below your rating on the amazing before and after we achieved on this car. And until then, we'll see you guys next time.